Right, so game two uh, on my uh, of my ladder games. So I can't remember what this guy was called actually. Moto or something. Monad, that's it. Oh, I should have remembered Monad. Oh, come on. Computer science student. I don't remember a name like Monad. Anyway, this game went a bit better. I was a bit more with it, this game. Got my uh, Overlord out fairly quickly. Sent a scout to see what he was doing. Still supply blocked a bit at the beginning there. You can see I had two, uh, oh, I got another one, another lava there. Which should be morphing, but I'm being slow. There you go. So I'm moving my overboards out into a defensive position. I've got my scout checking him out. And I see he's going for a kind of wall off. But that's it. No gas. Not many workers. Building a barracks. Like, okay, this looks defensively orientated, probably, but he gets another barracks up quickly. But I figure it's safe to go for my hatch first. So before anything else, I'll get a hatch out. Hatch could have been slightly faster. And I believe I was saving for one drone and a red pool of 17 on here. There you go. Pool of 16. But you can see, I'm running ahead in minerals, so he's just taking his uh, first gas. So he'll quickly overtake me there. And he continues to set up a wall, but I mean that's a really this wall. I've got a hatchery coming up. Oof. Double speed. Otherwise these replays take far too long. Oh extractor with no freaking drones in it. A pointless waste of rest. Oh, Move a drone in! Move a drone in! No, you're, you're okay for minerals, you're okay! There you go. Oh dear. I'm still getting used to all these uh, controls for the replays. I'm still getting used to the controls for the actual game, to be fair. Uh, so, work supply, I'm, I'm doing okay. Nobody's killed anyone. Minerals. Yeah, I'm slightly ahead. Yes, he's slightly ahead. Supply, I've, I've built too many overlords really at this point in the game. I'm mean, like 33 to 62 supply. I don't need that many overlords, I could have spent that money elsewhere. I've got loads of like... Lava, just sitting around. I'm very slow with morphing and I keep forgetting to inject the um... I keep forgetting to inject the queens with the, the spawn spawn lava. So I, I they keep filling up to like 200 energy and then I run along and go, oh! The other thing I keep forgetting is to put down creep tumors. And here come some lings! And there's armor. Um, armor? That wasn't armor. That was. Uh, th 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 metabolic boost. Speedlings and carapace coming. And the lings go charging in! Or, or they don't, they, they pull back. They go charging in! And, and I was like, oh no, it's a wall, it's a wall, I'm not going to. Oh, I got through! Oh yes. Not brilliant, but. I mean, like, look at that. 
managed to kill his marines, got one ling right to the back, damaged his harvesters. Pulled them off the mineral line. Good stuff. And how long did they sit there for? Ah, straight back in. I finally learnt. Let's build creep tubers. Creep tubers everywhere. And I've still got the problem that I had last game that I cannot spend my money fast enough. It's bad, it's really bad. <sighs> anyway. Two thousand Alright, the only reason I won this game is because this guy just literally sat on two bases. He didn't move out at all. Um which I suppose is a critique of his game. This is a critique of his game more so than mine. So he, he scans up there, but that's not my base, so that's fine. Got more lings coming along. Lovely, lovely lings. Got a mailing nest, two evolution chambers, spawn pool. <laughs> An empty extractor. See, what I've learned is from this game, I think, one overall thing I've learned from this game is I'm really bad at keeping my extractor to mineral ratio good. So, you can see here, minerals, I'm pretty far ahead. Gas, I'm lagging behind. If you look at mine, I mean, like, 3,000 minerals to 300 gas? I, mean, I know you're supposed to have more minerals than gas, but that ratio is getting out of hand. Oh, yeah. What's the solution to Walden Marines? Badelings! And in they go. Bending the stuff that they get through. Blam, blam, blam. Oh, I did not like to see them. So, I lost, I've lost way more so far. I, if you were looking at these resources through this, you'd be going, oh, I bet you're doing awful. Look at all this money you're throwing away. But it's forcing him on the defensive. He's not a strong player, so these constant attacks, he's, he just keeps rebuilding in the same place. He doesn't push out. Uh, at this point, if he'd taken all of this, these siege tanks and these marines, and pushed in, what would he have fought against? What's that? 20 odd links. 14 links. Against 9 marines, 7 marauders, and 2 siege tanks. He could push in, he could take this hatch and retreat and be fine but he doesn't he just builds builds up his defenses again in the meantime I've got three and a half thousand minerals and I'm building another base because you know why not he's not attacking up oh, 52 lings I run them over I think I scouted everything here um, I was just checking he hadn't expanded yet, and he hadn't. <laughs> Drones, building... I'm, a, I'm not sure whether these should be higher. 10 out of 24, 14 out of 21, 15 out of 24, 6 out of 24, and... I mean, these gases should have definitely been taken. And, and these two. And these two on here, they should have been taken sooner. But as for the actual mineral counts, I don't know. I, I don't think it's an issue so much that I'm only... Because I can't spend it fast enough. I'm not good enough to be able to spend that much money. So there's no point building more drones to mine that much. Because I just mean that that, that five thousand would be ten thousand. Oh yeah, did I mention I got mutilisks? Oh, and just just to pause and let's see. 
I've got melee and ground carapace level 2s. I think this is mutating into a hive. No, no. I mutate it into a hive at some point. Banelings have been upgraded. Flyers are getting level 1 carapace. So, I'm like, I'm spending money, but like at this point, I could have pulled all these drones off this mineral line pretty much. I could have put another spire. Uh, I could have put a roach, hydralisk, an infestation pit in preparation for upgrades. I've got the minerals for it. I could take these off the mineral line, put them on gas. I could take these off the mineral line and put them on gas. And then resupply my mineral line with fresh drones. But I don't know why I haven't done that. Anyway. So. Banelings again. Lots and lots of banelings. I could have probably got more banelings here. I, I'm still not sure what the good, what a good ratio is as far as banelings and zerglings go. <laughs> these are these all grouped together, <laughs> and just just to he doesn't know they're there. He can't see. They are just outside his vision range here. Literally just outside. He doesn't know they're coming. And when this game starts, player camera, he's over here. Additional supply depots required. Building another command center, probably to expand. And oh, look at Base that in the mini map. Oh, oh, what's happening? You're getting painted, Buster. That's what's happening. So that's all three bunkers down. Reinforcement of limbs from out of nowhere. Uters trying to do their damnedest to take stuff out. And the final results of that. I am still behind in terms of resources lost. He now has 42 army to my 8. And... Look at that! He's killed 200 bloody units! But, can we guess what he does? It's on. He regroups. He, well, he gets ready to go. He... He sets up defensively again. Oh dear. In the meantime, I'm churning out as many zerglings as I can. Got a second spire up, so I'm going for upgrades two at a time. Well, I would be if I was keeping an eye on things. Oh yeah, that's it. I've run out of Vespine and I've got too many minerals. Got a hive up, so I can uh, get level three stuff as well. And you can see level three carapace coming up, level three attack coming up. More zerglings coming. So many zerglings. And this was basically Zergling, Baneling, Mutalisk play. I think it was a long time. I, mean, I didn't get Infestors or anything until like the very, very end. Oh, good lord. Look at that. Vespine. No, don't have enough Vespine. Mineral! Got too bloody many. So we go and scout the rest of the map. Just make sure he hasn't got anything uh, at these other bases. I think, well, I keep harassing him down at the bottom. Maybe he's built up at the top. Nope. <laughs> Okay, back down to the bottom, and pause. Again, just outside his field of view. He doesn't know these things are coming. He's got a lot here. Alright, what's that? Four Thors, four siege tanks, four, six marauders, and a couple of marines. But, you can't see it. And... Have I still got pause? Okay. My game's just like it. He's backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. And oh no, oh no! Oh no, the bait legs! The bait legs! And it's all gone to crack. Well, that was well fought off, really. Alright, it hurt him a lot. Took out all the siege tanks, took out one of his Thors. 
but didn't push through. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> left two banelings there. I, I, I didn't realise they were there until they got attacked. <laughs> oh dear. Creep still spreading. Trying to look for early warning. Uh, this base going nicely. I finally realised that, oh shit, I need lots of gas. But I haven't realised that much. Finally went and decided to get some infestors into play. More muters, more zerglings, more infestors. I still don't have a roach warren or a hydralisk cadet. In fact, I don't think I built one at all in this game. And that diversification might have finished this game quicker. Oh, this was fun. I went in, thing I went in to harass the mineral line. And there was no mineral line. And he saw this coming, obviously, from that. But he didn't realise. And I thought, well, I'll get a couple of SCV kills. He's got a battle cruiser and some marines over there. He'll, he'll be able to attack me. Nope. 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 Still, still no counter-attack. It's nearly all his SCVs dead. 34 SCVs killed. Oh, there you go! Finally! Finally! But it's too late, and I think we take a battleship with us. No, mm, nearly. But I mean, like, he's got nothing. He has no income, and I've got way too much. Look at that, eleven thousand nine hundred. Jesus Christ. Look at that big wall count! I just don't know what to do with it! I should have just built hatcheries everywhere. Anyway. Rebuilding my army up. He finally decides to think... He finally decides to go on the offensive. Oh, I must attack! I must attack! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, and that's that's everything gone. Yes. GG. Well, no, there was no GG, he just bugged it off. Um so what did I do right? Uh my build order at the beginning was a little bit better, I think. I'm that first hatch was timed fairly well. The first few overlords were timed fairly well. Pool was timed fairly well. That initial scout was good because I was like, oh, right, okay, he, he doesn't really have anything yet. No all in coming. Uh, what did I do badly? Gas. Good god, gas. I. So bad with gas. Uh, you can just see here 13,000 to 2,000. I just. I need to build these extractors sooner. I need to get my drones in them faster. And, like, I haven't even built these ones. The mineral line's gone on this base, but I've still got two completely full geysers. These geysers still have loads left in them. This one's still got. I mean, that's my first base, and it's still got gas left in it. To be fair, so does he. But, you know, he didn't play that well, so. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, so I was quite happy about that. I, mean, I won. But, lots to improve. I need to keep a closer eye on my gas. I need to keep a closer eye on my supply. I keep either oversupplying or supply blocking. I'm, I'm very bad at timing it well. And I need to spend this bloody money. Good God, I need to spend that money. Anyway, that was game two. And, uh, I got one more game to do today. Which I will upload after this one. And that one was against Diamond Leaguer again, so... Spoilers! I got my ass kicked. 